hi guys how's it going yeah i feel like it's been a while since i've done this to be honest i am sorry for that but here's some updates i suppose on just content life etc this is not going to be about the book that's going to be in the next video in a couple of days time i'm kind of running out of time the book comes out on the 10th of april just over a week away this is not about the book even though I may end up going into it a little bit. I don't like my eyelashes. I only did a tiny bit of makeup because I couldn't be bothered. But I also didn't want to look like I was half dead. That's going to be part of this video. The reason I look half dead all the fucking time. Sorry if you don't like swearing. But I swear. I'm not monetized. I don't have enough, you know, subscribers or views. So I don't have to worry about <laughs> all that. If you would like to help me get to that stage where I do have to monitor and censor my language, please subscribe to the channel. I am a poet, a self-published poet. I am also a makeup lover and I look, do a lot of makeup looks. Everything's going to be on one channel now. Makeup and poetry. That's it though. It's all that's going to be on this channel because they're my two passions and they're the two things I enjoy. Kind of like my TikTok. You will also see my TikToks on here as well a bit more. Not all of them, just my favourite ones. Because if you don't know about the TikTok dra drama, there's a lot of TikTok drama around a potential ban of it. I'm just kind of moving things to here and Instagram. Even though we don't particularly like meta. But knees must. Anyway, that's the content side of everything, so hopefully more full length videos like this, more about my book, more about updates and stuff, more about my poetry, sharing a lot more poems and poetry with you guys, and just being active. I always say this, but I am like determined because I'm going to get into stuff. I'm not gonna go totally personal in this video because I don't particularly like to share everything with you guys but you may have seen like on Instagram and TikTok that I've not been particularly okay. I'm currently off work due to my mental health and I'm actually trembling right now. Um, maybe I'm hungry. <laughs> I'll eat something after I've done this. I'm also a bit nervous to be honest. I'm off work, like I said, and I may end up being off work for longer. We'll see how I am at the end of next week, but I have a feeling I may end up being off work longer. Anyway, that's like a conversation for me and my boss, not YouTube. I came off work because of my PTSD. It got really, really bad. My mental health is severely dropped it's not been easy these past few weeks well, past few months actually i'm having flashbacks i'm having anxiety and panic attacks i'm terrified of going outside because the last time i went outside during this time off work i saw my ex who did something well numerous unthinkable things to me I won't get into it though and that just threw me into even more anxiety so now I don't want to go outside I live in a very small town but I I mean when I say I very rarely see him or anyone associated with him I mean like years it's been years and it was just so goddamn typical that the day I go out and try to help my mental health and try to get back on track i see him and i nearly collapsed in the street not in front of him he left i was luckily with my mum but i literally just started crying and i was like i can't do this i would love to move out of this town love to move out of this town but that's not happening right now so i have a bit of agoraphobia now where I just don't want to go out because I'm terrified of that again and 
I'm not afraid of him. I am. It's weird, okay? Because when I saw him, yeah, the first thing was like shock. And then I was upset just because of the amount of emotions. But then I literally wanted to run down the street and yeah. <laughs> but like just anger came over me. So much anger. So that's why I'm off work also i have anxiety depression my mood is really really low but it goes up and down so much like the mood swings <sighs> i've just started adhd medication i've been on it for about a month now i think and at first it was making me really drowsy then i had to up the dose i've also lowered the dose again because when i was taking two tablets a day instead of one i was so tired i was literally like i'm going to just lay in the street and fall asleep because this is making me so drowsy so i've gone back onto just one medication one tablet a day that seems to be okay but i don't actually think they do say it can take up to about six weeks to actually affect you and sometimes i find myself like less distracted sometimes i find myself actually focusing on things and not procrastinating but that's only like for like a few moments the impulsivity is still here i can't focus i hyper focus i get distracted all the time i procrastinate everything the other mental health issues and the ptsd kind of go coincide with that and make everything twice as hard so the tablets are just like they're probably doing something it's just taking a while and it's quite annoying. I haven't been on them for a month. No, only a few weeks actually. I also keep losing track of time. So that's kind of where my brain is at the minute and what's going on. And it's not been great this past month. Not been, not been easy. And yeah, I post online and you may see me doing makeup looks and looking like I'm okay and having fun and that's because that is one of the only things that actually gives me like serotonin and joy that's the only thing that actually makes me get dressed and brush my teeth like doing this I had to brush my teeth I had to like clean my face and everything I had to change my clothes that's the only thing that is actually making me do that so if you see me posting online and you might be thinking oh there's nothing wrong with her <laughs> there is there is well yeah like i said i'm passionate about makeup and my book but also i'm trying to promote a book you know and everything is kind of all coming at once and i'm trying to promote a book get it finished because the cover's not done yet and i have less than a week to no just over a week to sort all this out and then i'm having to deal with all the things just here <laughs> so no if you see me posting online i'm not okay and i'm passionate about it and i want that to be my job okay i want to be a full-time poet i want to be a full-time content creator i want to be self-employed I want my Redbubble store to do well. I want people to be buying from it. I have a Redbubble store, by the way. <laughs> All the links will be in the description. Everything. I also have now a Kofi. I'm going to be doing a bit of work on that. But basically, there's one tier. And that's going to be for exclusive content. It's going to be for writing updates. But also sneak peeks of poetry, my books also audio versions of my poetry and books will only be on there and kind of like life updates and stuff like that but like i said i like my privacy so i'm not going to be posting everything for you guys i talk about my mental health and adhd because there's still a stigma around it and i still feel judged i still feel like people treat me differently as soon as they find out that i have a neurodivergency or a learning difference and a mental health issue so i post about it i talk about it because one it is quite 
therapeutic for me and it does help too it helps other people relate and see that it's okay if you have these issues and you're not alone but please seek help if you do need it i think that's the update i'm also not posting on my beauty channel anymore i don't know if i've just said that but i'm not posting on my beauty channel anymore i just want to focus on one channel i have this i have my tiktok i have my instagram i have my shop instagram and my twitch five is a good number to stop at <laughs> i got rid of twitter i was gonna go back on it can't be asked oh maybe i'll put my live streams back on my gaming channel but genuinely it all just starts building up and getting too much for me and i can't deal with it so i even have like a little book which is like over there in that stack just like my schedules for each day for social media like i'm working my ass off even though i sometimes wish i wasn't here and sometimes i want to lay on the floor and cry and just stop and not do anything so even though i am severely mentally unwell i'm still working my ass off and trying to pursue my goals and achieve them i had a tarot reading a professional one at like a craft fair i've never had like a professional reading done before like that and it was hilarious hilarious maybe i'll go into that in another video actually because that might be quite interesting to talk about and there was a lot to unpack in that so come back if you want to hear about my tarot reading also i'm going to do an update on my books book following this video so subscribe for that um like this video if you somehow liked this video and i will see you in another video guys take care of yourselves i hope you're well and as happy as you can be i don't know how to finish videos anymore bye <laughs>